To set up your Momentum Garage Door Controller, you should first ensure that your garage opener is compatible with the device. If your opener was manufactured after 1993 and does not have the yellow Learn button, then there's a good chance that your garage opener is compatible. For our most up-to-date compatibility list, please visit our help page at MomentumCam.com. Before you begin, make sure that you have a step ladder ready and that there is an open outlet near your garage door opener. First, start by cleaning the bottom of the garage opener with a wet cloth. Once the bottom is dry, apply the provided double-sided tape to the setup location. Next, you may choose to mount the base of the garage door controller directly to the sticker, or apply the circular metal plate to the sticker first. Since the base of the garage door controller is magnetic, you can apply the controller's base to the metal plate instead, which will make it easier to remove the camera later if needed. Once the controller is mounted, plug in the power cord to the back of the device and to the nearby wall socket. Your next step is to attempt to pair the garage door controller with your Android or iOS device. Download the Momentum app from the App Store and create a new account if you don't already have one. If you already have a Momentum device using the same app, you can just sign in using the same login information as they will function on the same app. Once you've successfully logged in, make sure your mobile device is already connected to the Wi-Fi network you want your garage door controller to be connected to and have the Wi-Fi password ready. Tap on the Pair icon and then select the Momentum Garage Door Controller with Camera option. Next, scan the QR code found on the back of your garage door controller using the camera from your mobile device. The app will automatically detect the Wi-Fi network to connect the camera to. Enter the Wi-Fi password and tap Connect once you are ready. Make sure the volume is up on your phone and keep the phone near the garage door controller during the pairing process. Once you've successfully paired the device, you'll need to create a name for your controller. Next, connect your garage door opener to your Momentum garage door controller using the wires provided in the box. You are free to cut the wire to your desired length, but make sure to strip the cut wire ends so that you have at least one centimeter exposed for connection. Before you begin the wiring process, be sure to unplug your garage opener unit. First, you'll need to identify which terminals on your garage door opener you will need to connect the wires to. You may do this by following the wires from your wall remote back to the terminals on your garage opener. You will be adding the provided wires to these same terminals. If you're unable to locate the wires from your wall remote, or if you're still unsure which are the correct terminals, please refer to your garage opener's manual to verify the correct terminals. Also, keep in mind your garage opener's terminals may look different from the ones used in this video. Another common terminal type uses screws instead, where the wires are wrapped around the screw instead of being inserted into the ports. They may look different, but the same rules will apply. Next, connect the wires to the terminals. The provided wires are both neutral, so it won't matter which wire goes into which terminal. For a better connection, remove the wall remote console's wires from the terminals. However, be sure to remember which wire came from which specific terminal. The provided momentum wires are neutral, but your wall remote wires may not be. Twist the provided wires together with the wall remote wires. Insert the wires back into the same terminals you had pulled them out from. Connect the other end of the provided wires into the top two terminals on the back of the garage door controller. Use the release buttons if necessary when you insert the wires, and be sure to tug the wires a few times to ensure that the wires have been inserted securely. Next, plug back in the power plug for the garage door opener. Lastly, open your Momentum app. You'll notice there are two tiles for your garage door controller. One tile will control the camera features and the other blue tile will control the open-close function. Tap on the blue garage tile to enter the control screen. 
you'll see a live view stream of the garage door controller's camera with a blue button in the middle of the screen. Pressing the button will trigger the garage door to open or close. Now your setup is complete. If you ever wonder again if you've left your garage door open or not, you can always check back on your Momentum app and remotely control your garage door from anywhere with an internet connection. For more information, visit us on the web at MomentumCam.com.